The Byzantine Empire, one of the most powerful empires of its time, was no stranger to political intrigue and coups. In the year 813 AD, the empire was rocked by yet another coup, this time instigated by Leo V the Armenian against his predecessor Michael Irangabe. To understand the events leading up to the coup, it is important to first understand the political climate of the Byzantine Empire at the time. Michael Irangabe had come to power in 811 AD, succeeding his father Nikephoros I, who had been assassinated by conspirators. Michael I was a relatively weak and indecisive ruler, and his reign was marked by a number of challenges and setbacks. One of the most significant challenges facing Michael I was the ongoing conflict with the Bulgars, a powerful neighboring state that had been waging war against the Byzantines for decades. In 811 AD, the Bulgars had launched a massive invasion of Byzantine territory, and Michael I had been forced to lead his army to confront them. In a decisive battle near the city of Pliska, Michael I suffered a crushing defeat, and his army was routed. The defeat at Pliska was a severe blow to Michael I's prestige and authority. He returned to Constantinople in disgrace, and his already tenuous hold on power was further weakened. Meanwhile, Leo V the Armenian, who was serving as a general in the Byzantine army at the time, was quietly amassing support among the military and political elites. Leo V was a skilled military leader and had earned a reputation for bravery and competence on the battlefield. He was also known for his ambition and his willingness to take risks to achieve his goals. As Michael I's authority continued to erode, Leo V saw an opportunity to seize power for himself. The coup itself was carried out in June of 813 AD. Leo V, with the support of a group of senior military and political officials, launched a surprise attack on the imperial palace in Constantinople. Michael I, caught off guard, was quickly overthrown and forced to abdicate. He was replaced by Leo V, who was crowned emperor the same day. The immediate aftermath of the coup was marked by violence and chaos. Michael I was imprisoned, and many of his supporters were executed or forced into exile. Leo V moved quickly to consolidate his power, appointing his own supporters to key positions in the government and military. Despite the violence of the coup, Leo V was initially well received by many of the people of Constantinople. He was seen as a strong and decisive leader who would be better able to deal with the challenges facing the empire. He quickly set about implementing a number of reforms aimed at strengthening the Byzantine state. One of Leo V's most significant reforms was his decision to reorganize the Byzantine military. He recognized that the Byzantine army had become bloated and inefficient, and that it was ill-equipped to deal with the threats facing the empire. To address this, he instituted a series of reforms aimed at streamlining the military, improving training and equipment, and creating a more professional and effective fighting force. Leo V also recognized the need to strengthen the Byzantine economy. He introduced a number of measures aimed at encouraging trade and commerce, including the construction of new ports and the establishment of new trade routes. He also worked to reduce corruption and inefficiency in the imperial bureaucracy, which had long been a drain on the empire's resources. Despite his early successes, however, Leo V's reign was not without its challenges. One of the most significant of these was the ongoing conflict with the Bulgars. Despite Leo V's efforts to reform the Byzantine military, the empire continued to suffer setbacks on the battlefield. In 814 AD, the Bulgars, 